Today's deadlifts. First thing though, I did some calf raises because they are obviously very, very important. And now hamstring curls. So I'm doing the hamstring curls first because that's going to limit what I can deadlift. And it means that if my knee gets irritated deadlifting, I still got the curls. You're not going to keep them. Keep them for next year. Yeah. So yeah, plan is a couple more sets of hamstring curls and then either deadlifts or stiff leg deadlifts and then like back, for lack of a better term. It's a bit later than normal, which is by accident. But anyway, I digress. fun this machine's great this machine's great the machine yeah it feel I don't know why I prefer it to the to the seated one on the seat yeah on the seated one even when I try and set it up well I just always feel like I'm slipping about on it whereas this one it's like it feels like there's not a wrong way to yeah, this like there isn't really a wrong way. You just curl. It's like, um, do you know, like if you are on the rower and you have to think about your technique. It's like going on a bike. Whereas for cycling, there isn't really much to it. This feels like that. You just locked in and and just do it. It's miles better. Yeah, I did. I used it last week. That's two sets done. I didn't film the first one. One more and then deadlifts or stiff leg deadlifts. Don't know which, we shall see. All right. Excellent song. Eight good reps, one half a rep, one barely even a quarter of a rep. That was good, enjoyable, some might say. All right, deadlifting time. So I've just done uh, 60 kilos for five. I'm gonna see how this feels for a normal deadlift. But I need to do like a fairly controlled, um, eccentric, and not drop it, just because the gym is upstairs um, so I'll see how this is I'm thinking like a decent starting point might be some reps of 140 uh, but we shall see feels alright actually it's only 100 it's double overhand, and I can't use chalk in here. Um, we'll try 140, see how that is. I think that's probably going to be heavy enough for today. And it's a bit stiff leg, a bit normal, but I need to do what's right for my quads. Um, so I remembered today, after yesterday's nonsense with the calories, um, with the training, I mean, where I didn't have many calories or any calories beforehand, I brought with me carb and protein today. So that should be better. I mean, I've not drank it all, but I've been drinking it as I started training. And well, I got here about an hour ago and then I sat here chatting. Um, so it should be better for today.
But we will see. I've got my straps as well. Because I don't want my grip to be the problem with this. So I'll start double overhand and then go to straps. Nearly dropped that for the grip. That's enough. You start to feel that pulling through the quads. What I'll do is start to increase that. I think I'll increase in volume rather than load so next time maybe more like aiming for five i realize that's basically nothing but yeah deadlift was too heavy i'm gonna go to do stiff leg deadlifts instead but stiff leg strength style so i'm not trying to be like massively exaggerated um range of motion or anything I just basically try not to load my quads too much with this. Right, next up, um, barbell rows. Not going particularly heavy on these, so we shall see how they go. That feels fine. For these, I'm partially doing them for the back, but also just for the holding that isometric position. Because um, at the minute, not only my quads weak, but because I've not loaded my spine for anything, that feels really weak at the minute as well. I think I was 10. So I'm not trying to do these super heavy yet. I will be increasing the load over time. Um, I wasn't going to do them because my back was aching from the deadlift, so I'm like, it's supposed to be working your back, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm flagging again today. I think I'm going to, I'm going to need to increase my calories a bit because although my weight loss is going well, I'm down 10 kilos now. The deficit, I think, is starting to affect me. I'm not that light, I'm only 95, I am 95, but it's the lack of calories in me and not eating anything beforehand. I'm trying not to let that be an excuse, it's more just a reason, an excuse being something I complained about, a reason being an explanation for something. So I think the explanation is I just not having enough calories systemically over the day and right now. So yesterday. I had yeah, only 1,600 calories, which is far too low. To be fair, my target is 2,500. But the last three, four days, I've ended up super low. But anyway, let's do another set. And maybe have a big refeed this week. Thursday this week going out for food for two or three meals so I'll have a big feed then today's Tuesday so I don't know what I'm going to do the rest of the day for food might have to have more so just see it you know when you feel like um, feel faint sweaty shakes I don't want to say it's a hypo, so I don't think it is that. But it's starting to feel like that as I go through training, even with the extra carbs. Um, so it might be a case of pulling back a little bit for a couple of days. 
to then push on. So I don't, <gasps> really bad hiccups today. I don't need to be pushing my fat loss so aggressive, like I'm not trying to compete or anything in bodybuilding. So we shall see how it goes. I think it should be all right. Today for the plan for deadlifts, I basically just want to start getting some load through my spine again. Um, and my legs, obviously. They're doing all right. Oh. Right, let's go again, another 10, nice and easy. like easy but uncomfortable oh. Oh. crazy hair as well so I look insane and I'm just stood talking to myself in the mirror <laughs> like a madman I was talking to James owner of, one of the owners of the gym about this earlier and how if you want head in yeah if uh, if this is ever in your way, just let me know and I'll move it. You sure? Thank you. Um, people are so nice here. It's good. I always try and when someone comes near the cameras, basically offer them for me to move it. Because their training takes priority over my filming. I don't want people to feel uncomfortable in the gym, you know? Anyway, what was I saying? The deadlifts. Oh yeah, so I'm starting to deadlift twice a week now. So it doesn't need to be crazy heavy. And today is going to be a lighter one. And then on Friday, maybe deadlift at home. So I can use chalk and push a bit harder. Oh, I'm flagging today. Which is just an excuse, isn't it? Because the training still needs doing. up is going to be some kind of rose depending on what is free but I need to put this stuff away first so I'll pause this oh, I'll pause this whilst I do that considering I'm not doing anything oh, come on. pause this put stuff away find the next exercise next up is cable row from like single arm above above me which you'll see in a second I feel like a proper bodybuilder doing it like this so that's way too light Good stretch though. It does feel like I'm doing something. Just not quite enough weight. Let's give that a go and see. <sighs> Hopefully this isn't in anybody's way. But we shall see. So the plan is now a handful of sets of this. Um, Do you know when you see people going through prep and stuff and their training videos, they progressively look cooler as they get leaner, but there's less and less actual content because they're dying.
I'm clearly not going through a prep, but calories. I need to stop talking about this and just crack on my training, don't I? There's nothing I can do about it right now. So the plan is a couple sets of these. One done, two more to go. That loading feels about right. I like this like grunge rock stuff. You can really hear the divorced dads in it. Let's move where you are. Try this one instead. Hopefully no one needs the stuff in the meantime. Right, so what I'm doing is having a break. Um, and then gonna restart. I did, um, so so far I've got calves, hamstrings, one set of deadlifts, one set of stiff leg deadlifts, four sets of light barbell rows, three sets of like diagonal pull downs. I'm just flagging so much, I think. Like I say, I need to potentially increase my food a little bit because although hunger's not too bad, my actual, what's it called, energy is just tanking. I've had the um, same amount of caffeine as I would normally, so nothing crazy like 75 milligrams so far. I would often have a monster drawing, but I'd have half of it before, half of it drawing. I haven't, but that's not making this much of a difference. Um, I mean... <sighs> barely sweating and starting to feel leaner like I don't know how much leaner I actually I'm looking yet but I just wanted to take a break for a couple of minutes I'm gonna finish off some of this and then go back and do the rest of my bits I'm not gonna film the rest of my bits because the gym starts to get busy now with a few people with PT clients and stuff in and I need to do dumbbell stuff so I'll be in the middle of the dumbbell rack and so I don't want to set up a tripod in the way of everything. So this is going to be the end of the video. Um, but I'm going to go and do some lateral raises. I think that's going to be it for today. So nothing insane. And then tomorrow will be... Um, what's it called? Quads. So I will see you tomorrow. Adios. Goodbye. Sayonara.